The beginning scene of Tampopo is more akin to a preface than a classic movie narrative introduction. The scene is set in an old-fashioned movie theater as a gangster and his entourage, all in white, enter the theater. The costuming immediately signals to us that the gangster is the center of attention. The gangster and his crew take up the whole frame, and the camera follows to track his every move. The scene's composition is otherwise normal for a movie, perhaps a Japanese gangster flick. Right up until here, when the gangster begins to directly address the audience, casually noting, so you're at a movie theater too? Our point of view immediately shifts from being an objective observer to a member of the action, interacting in a one-sided conversation with the gangster. The camera even suggests how we as viewers might react in this situation. The camera recoils when the gangster comes towards us. We also see that, in the background, the gangster's girlfriend has stood up to get a better look at what we are eating. The movie theater setting, when we are likely watching this movie in a similar theater, makes the whole scene feel more uncanny. The observer becomes the observed. In fact, the gangster's world seems secondary to our world, or the audience's world. When the gangster tells off a man for eating too loudly, his violent outburst alarms us and the other people sitting in the theater. But no one seems too bothered by the episode. As soon as the gangster calms down, he immediately turns back to the camera and continues philosophizing, as if nothing happened. Still, I'm sure everyone who saw Tampopo in theaters spent the rest of the movie eating very quietly, even though the gangster is safely on the other side of the screen. The gangster then spends the rest of the scene laying out his philosophy about how a man's life plays out in a montage sequence before his death. This perfectly sets up the structure for the rest of Tampopo, which in itself doesn't have much of an overarching plot, but is more of a collection of stories with the common theme of appreciating good food. Having prepared the viewer for the mishmash narrative soon to follow, as well as conveniently foreshadowing his own death later in the movie, the gangster then sits back to enjoy the film. When the lights dim in the theater, the lights dim for real for us too, because now that the preface is over, Tom Popel's real story will begin. <laughs>